Good morning, it's Tuesday, April the 27th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can only profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, I got three great press releases for you this morning, two from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side, no halts to report on. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Star Navigation Systems. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol SNA. Disclaimer time, they are an Agoracom client. However, as always, the news stands on its own two feet. The company is announcing today the sale of three additional units of its Star ISMS Light Flight Tracking and Communications Technology units to Skylink Aviation. Now, based on Star's patented Star ISMS system, their light product provides flight tracking, asset management, two-way data voice communications, and backup emergency SOS distress capabilities, amongst others. Revenue generated is set forth as in the press release of August 29, 2008, on a pro rata basis. Now, a little bit about the company. They are a Canadian technology company focused on providing aerospace solutions, both hardware and software platforms, to assist aviation operators worldwide. Companies last at 31.5 cents. High of 57 cents, low of 4 cents, market cap of approximately $51 million. Moving on to our next company, Fire River Gold. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol FAU. Disclaimer time once again, Fire River is an Agoracom client. However, as always, the news stands on its own two feet. I've got some highlights coming out of the company, some drill results. We've got 78 grams per ton of gold, over 4.8 meters in hole number 50. And included within that, we've got 160 grams per ton of gold over 1.8 meters. So we've got some very high concentrations of gold. We've got results pending for an additional 80 underground holes. And there's results pending for an additional seven surface holes. Geological reassessment work is now 55% complete for the resource update, which is expected in the fall of 2010, so just a few months away. A little bit about the company, they're a junior exploration development company focused on advanced stage gold projects in North America, last of 41.5 cents, high of 75 cents, low of 35 cents, market cap of approximately $10 million. Now, finally, we're moving over to the U.S. side. The company is called China Back. They trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol CBAK. The company proclaims to be one of the world's largest lithium ion battery cell manufacturers. They're announcing their financial results for the second quarter of fiscal 2010. I've got some highlights for you, which include revenues in Q2 increased 23.5% year over year. Revenues from cylindrical cells used in notebook computers are up 65% to $13.5 million. Uh, China Back also claims that they supply three out of the six largest notebook OEM ma uh, makers in the world. And finally, the EBITDA increased 320% year over year to $6.2 million. Companies last at $2.31, high of $5.22, low of $1.80, market cap of approximately $147 million. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts in the morning for you.